Alright, welcome everybody to another Build Fly Go video. Um, Sam and I today are flying to Boscobel, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, some of the avionics. I had a few other questions um, since my last video, uh, the 30 minute smarter burst of avionics. And uh, so we're going to take a look at the, auto at the autopilot and the audio panel. So for for the autopilot, there's a few different settings. Uh, there's the sort of the heading navigation settings, uh, so basically heading and nav. So heading will set the autopilot to hold um, and follow the heading bug, which is right here. It's the little blue thing. And I can change the heading bug with the knob and move it back and forth. And I can also use the inside knob here, same thing. And you can do the same thing on the other one over there, the other knob. Um, so then if I set heading mode, the autopilot has the flight director enabled, which is the bars over here that you follow, the cross, if you will. And then to then enable the autopilot, turn on the servos, you'd have to push the autopilot button. The other bot option on the navigation side of the uh, the autopilot is the nav button. And the nav button basically tells the autopilot to follow the flight plan in the airplane. So I'm on the flight plan mode here, and it would follow the flight plan and basically fly you through the, through the, uh, I don't know, squares. <laughs> Highway in the sky, I think is what they call it. It's just like pilot wings on N64. Sorry, the uh, ATC was talking to us. So, um, then there's also the approach button, which I'll cover later when I'm doing instrument procedures. Uh, the approach button basically tells the autopilot to fly the approach uh, for the instrument approach, um, or the visual approach if you're flying a visual approach, um, to, to the airport, basically. Uh, we'll skip some of this for now. Um, then on the right side, uh, there's a few different options. Uh, speed mode, vertical navigation, vertical speed mode, and altitude. So first off, the button of course, it sets the, the bug. Kay. You can see the bug moving here. Sets the bug. Altitude tells you to hold the altitude. Um, and currently, it says hold 4500, because it was what, I, what it was when I pushed altitude uh, a while back. Um, but of course, the autopilot is not on. So it's not actually engaging the servos, but it is showing us the flight director on how to do that. Vertical speed will tell us to fly a specific vertical speed, so 500 feet per minute, for example, to a certain altitude. So if I set the altitude bug to 5,000 and then hit the vertical speed bug, um, the vertical speed bug shows, and I can move the vertical speed bug to, say, 500 feet per minute and it'll fly 500 feet per minute to 5,000 feet and then level off because that's the bug to altitude. Um, and, and there we go, yeah, we're flying that. <laughs> we're, we're manually autopiloting. Um, I'm the autopilot. Yes. <laughs> um, then VNAV uh, will tell the autopilot to fly the vertical navigation profile in the flight plan. So if my flight plan for some reason has a vertical navigation fixes, um, Let's actually go back down to 4,500 because there's clouds above us. <laughs> there we go. Um, the vertical navigation feature. So if, for example, you're on an approach, um, it will fly you down down the approach, down the different uh, step downs on the approach. Um, or the, the thing that I use the most is I actually have a setting in the avionics to um, enable vertical navigation, or rather set the vertical navigation bugs um, when I'm, so that I am at pattern altitude about, uh, I believe I have it set to five miles from my destination. So uh, the VNAV is going to blink and it's going to tell me, you know, if I, can, if I want to engage VNAV uh, when I'm at the distance required to descend at 500 feet per minute to be at pattern altitude at Boscobel, for example, um, five miles from Boscobel. And then indicated airspeed, IAS, or speed mode, will set a speed bug, and it will fly that speed bug to
to the altitude set in the altitude bug. Um, we'll demo all of these uh, a little bit later. Um, and that's really... Okay, oh, sorry, so to so the middle, uh, so the autopilot enable button. It basically says, make the servos do what the autopilot wants to do. Flight director button says, set the flight director bug, uh, bars. So if I turn this off, the bars disappear, and the flight director, I'm sorry, and the autopilot is entirely disabled, including the flight director. If I turn them on, the bars show up, the, the cross in the middle there. Um, and the bars work, so let me show you what happens here. So I'm gonna set the heading bug all the way to the left, and the vertical bar shifted to the left. It's saying, for you to fly to that heading, center the bars, and then you're in the correct heading. So then if I move it back to to Boscobel, it'll move them to the to the right as well. See, it's shifting the bars to the right. Um, okay. Uh, and it'll do the same thing, of course, for the horizontal bar for, you know, climb and, uh, climbs and descents. That's the flight director button and the autopilot button. The level button is a uh, save your bacon button, or save your tofu, um, where if you hit the level button, it will engage the autopilot and level the aircraft in pitch and bank. So basically, Should something we try happened. It? Huh? Should we try it? Yeah. So oh, push yeah. the button, and it, it basically right. takes mm -hmm. over and levels you. It puts you in level level right. mode. So if I turn it off, yeah, you and then do do something like yep. like this, right? And now hit the level button. And then and it, it levels us out. The autopilot, yep, takes over and levels okay. you out. Yeah. It's a pretty cool feature. Um, yeah, so, all right, so let's look at the, so we've seen the heading button. Um, let's look at the nav button. So um, if you hit the nav button, go ahead. <laughs> okay. And then enable the autopilot. So the airplane is going to take over. Um, and it's flying to intercept the flight plan line, right? So it's taking a left turn here, turning southbound a little bit. It's going to intercept that and then fly that towards your destination. Um, a lot of times when I am off course for whatever reason, um, I will uh, hit the direct to button right here which pops up the, am I, you know, direct to, and I want to go to Boscobel. So I just hit activate, and then I hit the nav button. Um, so what that does is, instead of my turning to intercept the previous course, which was from one place to another place, it makes me go direct from where I am to my destination. So there's no intercept, right? So it saves you, you know, probably like three seconds of flying or something like that, but um, it feels, quote, quote, more efficient to me. Um, let's see. Yep, that's nav and heading. Uh, we'll, we're not going to do approach mode uh, now. We'll do it in a future video when we're doing uh, instrument procedures. Um, for climbs and descents, right? So let's put this down. Uh, we're currently at 4,400. Um, and I'm setting this, the altitude bug to 3,900. So usually what I do here is I just hit the clicker. To, uh, up, which makes it go down, right? So it's, it's backwards, it's an airplane. Um, and that automatically engages vertical speed mode and sets a 500 feet per minute descent that will capture at 3900. So you can see that the light above VS came on and it'll descend to 3900. Okay, here we go. It's uh coming to 3900, it's a blinking altitude, saying it's going to capture the altitude and switch to altitude mode. And there we go, so it's almost there, almost there, it's captured. Um. Oh, and here's the VNAV mode indicator. So while we were doing that, it actually got to the VNAV location, so I see a little V over here. So this is sort of like a glide path, and there's a, uh, and a little arrow down here saying, this is where you're above the glide path and you need to be descending at 600 feet per minute to be able to capture and arrive at Boscobel, I'm sorry, arrive five miles outside Boscobel at 1670, which is pattern altitude. 
So if I go over here and hit the VNAV button, it should... I don't know that it will because we missed the... Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it will. So we missed the, the VNAV uh, capture. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start the descent um, at the 600 feet per minute that it's uh, recommending. And we should capture the glide path, um, the VNAV glide path, or the V-path maybe. I don't know. Uh, glide path and glide slope are loaded terms, so probably not the right one, so we'll call it the V-path. Um, so, yep, so it'll descend at 600 feet per minute, and it should capture and arrive uh, as, as we expect it to. And we can do the speed mode option uh, on our climb out. Uh, so I usually use speed mode for climb. So that I'm doing a cruise climb, for example, I will set 110, uh, 110 knots for the climb, and uh, we'll let it climb and capture on its own, and that way it keeps my cylinder head temps um, reasonable. All right, so that's autopilot. Um, I said we were going to do audio panel as well right now, um, and uh, we'll do that on the next video, so they keep them short. All right, thanks for watching.